Welcome back to Blend Stitch Life. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how to create uh, some kind of toy submarine that's inspired by this Thunderbird 4 submarine. Uh, so if you Google search, um, you can see some images uh, of this Thunderbird submarine. Uh, it looks kind of simple. It's, it's really something that you you can model I guess fairly quickly if you're like a professional 3D modeler. If you are still new with 3D modeling, um, it's actually gonna be a fun practice. Uh, you, you just need to find a good reference and then uh, you try to model it as good as you can. I mean, you, you have to be kind of uh, confident with it first. Uh, look at the Lego one, for example, that's can kind of give you an idea on how to approach this modeling. Um, so earlier today I did a quick modeling. I think this is this was like 30 minutes modeling. It's not the best model, but there's a few, there's a like a trick modeling that you can do in plasticity to get these kind of shapes very very quickly. I thought that the, the shape itself is a little bit like a like a stingray but also a little bit like uh you know is it like the rocketeer and you just need to model a few different parts but this part in particular is kind of interesting like it's like a fish right fish very simple fish so i thought okay i will just gonna record a video and i'll try to model this again very quickly okay I, I actually did the second one and I did this in just few minutes and yeah I think even though it's a little bit like a fishy style of modeling uh, it's gonna be kind of interesting okay let's let me save this first and then new clear the scenes okay if you are doing like a like a polygon modeling you might think that you can actually start modeling just by doing this beveling and then if you are doing it inside blender for example you you create the shapes and then you you're thinking okay i will actually start to move these edges around in plasticity you can probably do this and get to the shapes but maybe don't start with a box in this case we want to make like a like a fish, the body of the fish, right? Like the, the submarine. So I recommend you to start with a line. So I'm trying to think of the like a fish shape, like a rocketeer. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna draw the the tail. I just gonna draw this face. Okay, let's save this fishy. I like this shape and then uh, you can still modify the points by the way if you go to the control points in this case I just gonna freestyle I just gonna continue I extrude it using E I can hit tab right so I can adjust the thickness of this uh, what's gonna be a submarine hopefully we can we can scale it okay can scale it like this so we already have like a diamond like a diamond shape um, yeah just gonna right click we, we get this shape so we can get rid of the original curve okay so we have something already Maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't make the diamond shape too early, but I'm just gonna keep it like that for now. Mm, yeah, let's go back. Let's extrude this. If you want, you can have the so you can hit tab to have like that thing mirrored, and then right click, save. You want to make the diamond shape. Like this, okay. Uh, you 
select the face and then all or actually let's extract this one time yeah make the diamond shape here Okay, so yeah, okay, we have this shape and now we can we can hide the original curve. We can mirror this for now, I guess the mirror. And after you mirror you just tap Q. So yeah, this like a like a balloon shape. Anyhow, for for the submarine, I like the the window parts actually. So let me check the Thunder Thunderbirds four. I like the shapes of the windows, and I want to I want to have that early as I want uh, like as possible so I'm selecting this face like a polygon modeling tap O so I'm doing inner inset after I do that I just E and then G and I just gonna draw that okay yeah, it's probably a little bit strange approach but from here you can start doing this fillet fillet bevel so like I said this method is really weird it's a fishy method but you can get these shapes pretty fast <clears throat> you can uh, now start beveling I guess we're filling the inside and you can also st start to consider the tail so I like to draw this tail like this you're just gonna pull it extrude it and scale, I like to scale the tail a little bit and extrude it once again so it's really... I... I oh cancel that Siri hey Siri cancel that so let's... Okay. hey Siri stop that Okay, so let's continue. This part, I guess, yeah, you, you can start doing the baffle and you cannot always extrude parts like polygon modeling because this is like a like a para solid, parametric solid. Sometimes you can just extrude and but in, in this case uh, I don't recommend that um, let's do the another inner extrude using O and then extrude that way for the wing getting somewhere select everything scale can we scale this like normally okay extrude 
extrude. We can, I believe we can still push some things around. Oh, I wish I can push this up a little bit more. Okay, I can apparently do that. So it's looking more like a fish. Okay. Let me try again. Yeah, sometimes it's doing weird thing, right? scale this for example cannot anyhow let's select escape and then select everything and then mirror and then Q right click okay uh, look at the reference this point you can start building this rocket part or draw another fin on the top for example maybe use box okay like the basic one just draw a box hit tab You want to use okay? Let me try do that again. Select this face, shift space bar. We have this reference. Try to draw the fin. I guess that's right. It's like a like a taxi, right? Extrude, I guess. If you extrude, you can you can scale it that way. So that creates like a fin shape, and you just yeah, it's already connected. And you, the nice thing about plasticity is whenever you find edges. just blend you can blend and fuse uh, they call it fillet <clears throat> uh, but yeah that part is pretty easy any edge just blend it maybe do that for everything Sometimes you can hold options and then you can select and blend all the edges like that. Let me do that again. See, holding sh options and select the edge. Just blend it. Whatever you like. And when you start, uh, once you start doing that, bevel thing, things will look like a uh, Everything looks like more detail somehow. Okay, somehow I cannot, I cannot baffle the back area. Okay, that's okay. Select this face, control 2, convert selection of face into edges. It's probably not the best approach for that. I, I want this to be rounded. There must be a better way to do that. Leave it there. 
select escape, select everything with A, and then mirror again. Right click, Q. Okay. And yeah, every now and then you can still try to push things around. It will still work. You see, you can push that. So you can still control the bevel a little bit. any extrusion there anyhow okay let's say if you want to build the rocket the rocket part let's hide everything use a cylinder uh, reset the grid just draw the rocket cylinder like that and then I'll show you something okay let's let's do it this way and X and then scale out extrude it again extrude with E and then scale down it's gonna be better because you can can bevel it after you can shift click to get around it I think no sometimes shift click work and you get this spherical shape I guess that's okay for now uh, we can make like a circular array cut if you want to Okay, circular array. Yeah, maybe let's do that. Even though it's not the most correct way to do it. Just gonna draw a box. Box shape like that. This guy is not... Doesn't seem to be centered interesting I draw the cylinder at the center I think
just gonna keep going and radial array center you can select the main object the main body and then select everything else Q You can union or difference, which one you want. Maybe just do it this way, right click. <laughs> okay. That's a terrible bevel, but that's okay. Just gonna continue. It's terrible cut. You can remember you can do this trick like a baffle and then control control click on the edge surrounding the area okay there must be a faster way to do to select all these edges I like the plasticity um, fillet or bevel. Everyone says they hope that plasticity is actually like an add-on inside Blender because it's, uh, it's just too powerful. Okay, uh, we got our rocket. Let's bring back our body. <laughs> okay. Rotate Z axis. Okay. Rotate X or Y. Ninety degrees. We should make, we should uh, maybe scale this. Okay. Wait, that extrude is funny. In plasticity, if you extrude, if you offset that area, you get like this kind of mushroom shape. Uh, I don't, I don't mind. Keep that. Okay. That's okay anyway. Just for practice. So we got this shape. We have this big decision whether we want to boolean everything. Maybe we can do that. Safe. Just save as new version. We we might want to change our mind on that. So rock uh, fishy two. Select everything. Select everything. Q Q right click. Now it's combined as a single object. After you combine it, every edge here can be blended. Normally, you can blend it easily. I'm okay with it like that for now, for this demonstration purpose. Just tap O. I just want to make this whole. Uh, it's making it seems to be more detailed than 
which originally was mirror, mirror again, right click Q, and then right click. So it's combined. We don't have the center line. Um, it's funny looking submarine. The wing, yeah. if you, which one is better? Just probably gonna leave that, like that for now. Okay, if you want to add more detail, like uh, the easy one, for example, around that area, you can do a pipe. So I'm selecting the outline edge. We can do a pipe. Oh, in this case, the pipe's failing. Too bad. Sometimes it works, but in this case, just maybe don't use the pipe, just Just bevel it. Sometimes we can select the edge and create a pipe. Yeah, sometimes that works. You can invert the pipe. D, you know. So you have that kind of detailing. If you want to, anyhow, select all mirror once again, Q, right click. At this point, play around, maybe see, like I'm pushing that part, right? So suddenly we have that kind of detail that we don't have before or I mean the, the fillet seems to work kind of nicely maybe we can see I can do that and then make inner bevel right click and extrude yeah, that sort of thing should work. Bevel. That's weird. It's a weird bevel there. I think I think it's faking the bevel fillet for there, but but anyhow, yeah. Trying to add details, sort of, around some areas. And if whenever possible, I want to push and pull some areas. Okay, this part. 
looks super weird. I don't know, maybe I, I'll just keep it like that. Option, click, bevel. or maybe like a sign it's like some kind of water taxi the inside is it's not hollow it's I'm not sure where people are gonna see it but we make, we need to make the inside cut somehow at some point yeah but anyhow that's a yeah that's a quick method I, I, like I said it's, it's a fishing method you you draw you start by drawing the line, right? Remember, you draw the shapes and then you kind of extruding it like a polygon, even though this is like a like a parasolid. But with that approach, you can get this shape very very quickly, which is a uh, kind of nice. So it's not exactly Thunderbird submarine, but uh, try different method. I think it should be simpler than. I mean, there's. There should be like a different approach to design this Thunderbird to get exactly these shapes. You can kind of combine multiple objects maybe. If you are doing like a like a full polygon modeling approach in Blender, it might be different from this method. But this is okay. I really like this particular particular shapes. Like I said, it's a little bit like Rocketeer, the helmet of Rocketeer, and a little bit like Stingray as well, but also like a fish, and it's got this fin and the rocket part, and you can try it yourself, make the rockets slightly differently. The way I do this circular array is not exactly, maybe not exactly how it should be, but it's... For a quick one, it should work. This is what I quite like. With plasticity, you can still push and pull some part. I don't really like the wings, for example. Maybe I should just delete the part because too many weird beveling happening. I just need to have like a rounded, nice rounded wings. With plasticity, whenever I see edges like this, I feel like I want to fill it or baffle it. Sometimes it works, you know, like beautifully like that. If it works, I'm just gonna keep it. Bottom part, push. You see, see. Because I do that, suddenly we have this new details area. It wasn't there before, but and then you, you can add fillet bevel. Mm -hmm. So not exactly Thunderbird, but we have something that, that looks like submarine. The inside needs to be, we need to maybe create a hole, push it in, I don't know, I don't know yet. You can, however, uh, oops, what did I do? You can select everything and try to solidify hollow solid yeah it's gonna make it's gonna solidify everything and the inside part will be hollow uh, anyhow yeah maybe for now I'm just gonna leave it like this it's just like a concept 
for a submarine or I don't know, like a rocket. Hopefully you'll find this uh, useful. It's a very quick technique. Um, not exactly correct technique, but hopefully you'll find this useful anyway. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.